fantastic news out of the state of Florida. A federal judge ruled the idiots in Florida who ruled gay marriage was unconstitutional back in 2008 are absolutely wrong. U.S. federal judge Robert Hinkle in the Florida capital of Tallahassee ruled that gay couples who seek marriage licenses must receive them on January 6th and beyond across the state. This is awesome news, guys, because it provides rights for people that have been pushed down and discriminated by the government. You know, while the general public lately, it's come in favor of legalizing gay marriage on the federal level, obviously. It's been nothing but ruling after ruling against the LGBT community. Just goes to show how out of style our federal government really is. So you know what? We're doing this thing state by state. And so far, we're rolling. Florida is now the 36th state to legalize gay marriage. Put up the map. Woo! Yes, sirree. Oh, that's great. <sighs> what is that I smell? Is it equality? Is it justice? Ah, oh, I think it is. <laughs> and go ahead and color in that dark blue for that state sticking out at the bottom right. Ha <laughs> ha ha. But I'll tell you guys, it was a fight. The federal judge made his first ruling saying that they must issue marriage licenses to gay couples on August 21st, four freaking months ago. But the same idiots who said gay marriage was unconstitutional back in 2008 in Florida came back and said, well, it must only apply to the case you're talking about in, in that one small county with that one couple. Because he made this ruling on a gay couple who didn't receive a marriage license in Washington County, Florida. Uh, so he then suspended when the ruling would go into effect to allow the state to appeal. However, the Supreme Court did not extend the suspension back in December. Therefore, it cleared the way for Mr. Judge to rule in favor of equality and justice. And this, guys, is monumental. Because this is taking place in the third most populous state in the country, in the backwoods southeast, with nearly 20 million people being affected by this. And it goes to show that if progressives and the American people team up and fight, we make a huge impact. For the last 10 years, it has been an uphill battle. Time after time, they fought and fought against the 30 million gays in this country, looking for their basic rights. But state by state, we fought against their backwards values and allowed these people to receive the justice they deserved. And it is truly amazing. The places they'll go to fight against gays in this country... They call them AIDS magnets. Then they say they're against the Bible. Then they say they'll die out. I mean, the angles they'll go to discriminate against these people. But finally, in the last decade, we have pushed back against that conservative nonsense. The first ruling legalizing gay marriage was in Massachusetts back in 2004. And man, since then, 36 states have hopped onto the bandwagon. It's absolutely fantastic. And if you want some to pick particulars on this, uh, 25 states have legalized same-sex marriage through court rulings. Eight states approved gay marriage through the legislature. And three states, Maine, Maryland, and Washington, uh, passed laws permitting same-sex marriages through voter initiatives. That right there goes to show just how much opposition there has been. To the point where we must grind out legal gay marriage in court for the majority of states that have legalized it. But hey, the battle was won in Florida and in 35 other states for the LGBT community. And now we have to continue grinding to win the war. Where anyone in this country, a gay couple, can freely go to the courthouse and walk the aisle knowing they have a legal partnership with all the things that come with that partnership. Again, this is a huge win for this fight, and I'm so excited for not just the gay rights um, movement, but what this shows for the progressive movement as a whole and this nation.